which is also called 3D printing. It is one of the important pillars of Industry 4. 3D printing or additive manufacturing is the construction of three-dimensional object from a CAD model or a digital 3D model. In this presentation and a video, we will try to understand about additive manufacturing, what is 3D printing, what are the uh, key differences between the, these two, and, uh, and how these uh, uh, additive manufacturing is used in the industry. Additive manufacturing, AM, also known as 3D printing, is a transformative approach to industrial production that enables the creation of lighter, stronger parts and systems. Additive manufacturing uses 3D CAD software or 3D object scanners to direct hardware to deposit material layer upon layer in precise geometric shapes. As its name applies, additive manufacturing as material to create an object. It is yet another technology advancement made possible by the transition from analog to digital processes. In recent decades, communications, imaging, architecture, and engineering have all undergone uh, their own digital revolutions. Now, add additive manufacturing can bring digital flexibility and efficiency to the manufacturing operations. Although the terms 3D printing and radio rapid prototyping are casually uh, used to discuss additive manufacturing, each process is actually a subset of additive manufacturing. While additive manufacturing seems new to many, it has actually been around for several decades in the right application, additive manufacturing delivers a perfect uh, model of an improved performance, complex geometries, and simplified fabrication. As a result, opportunities abound for those actively embracing additive manufacturing. We will try to see, uh, uh, learn about additive ma manufacturing through our video here. What is additive manufacturing? Additive manufacturing also known as 3D printing, is a process that creates a physical object from a digital design. An engineer designs the object using computer-aided design, or CAD, software. The 3D design file is then sliced into thin layers and uploaded to an additive manufacturing machine. The manufacturing process begins once an extremely thin layer of metal powder is spread across the platform. A heat source, such as laser or electron beam, then melts the first layer of the 3D design. The platform is lowered, and another layer of metal powder is spread across the platform. The layering and melting process is then repeated until the part is complete. The metallic powder is removed, and a physical object is revealed. Additive manufacturing allows you to produce parts that are lighter, stronger, and more durable than traditionally made parts. Build times are faster. Engineers can add precise features and complex geometries without increasing cost. In fact, additive manufacturing is revolutionizing the way we work. Uh, we will see uh, through another video and learn about additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing is 3D printing. Instead of molding a part or machining it, additive manufacturing involves technology that fuses the material, maybe using a laser in the case of metal, in order to build up the part one minute layer at a time. Because the part is built up instead of being machined from the outside or molded, additive manufacturing makes it possible to produce forms that maybe wouldn't be possible to make in any other way. Possibilities include parts that have complex internal channels, parts with lattice or honeycomb structures on the inside for weight savings. Additive manufacturing makes it possible to customize a part, changing the details at the last minute because there's no dedicated mold tooling. Also, additive manufacturing can eliminate a lot of assembly work because a part that might be assembled from a lot of smaller components could be grown as a single piece instead. Additive manufacturing makes a variety of end-use production parts, including jet engine components, other aircraft parts, medical devices, surgical implants. 
Additive is also used to make mold components that actually improve the molding process because the cooling channels, instead of being straight drilled holes, can be grown to conform to the shape of the mold surface. Additive manufacturing as a production option is still in its infancy. The number of users and applications is growing, but still small. Over time, additive manufacturing machines will become faster, their build envelopes will get bigger, the processing of various materials will be better understood. But the thing that'll really help additive manufacturing advance is designers becoming more aware of the freedoms and possibilities that additive manufacturing brings them. The established rules of what forms are manufacturable have, in a lot of ways, now changed. When people compare additive manufacturing and machining, what they forget is how capable modern machine tools are. A part that is machined effectively today probably will still be machined tomorrow. Additive manufacturing will replace machining for some parts, but the better way to think about additive is as a complementary process. One, because in metal, a part produced additively probably is still gonna need finished machining. But also, two, because what additive really does is expand the range of designs that manufacturing is capable of producing. Additive manufacturing will be part of the future. How large a share of production additive manufacturing will account for is unknown. How quickly it will advance is unknown. But we will see additive manufacturing take its place as an established, accepted production option alongside molding, machining, and other processes. In the future, additive manufacturing will account for some significant share of the way that parts are made. Additive uh, supplement to um, uh, additive manufacturing is 3D printing. It is slightly different from uh, uh, from uh, additive manufacturing, and we will try to see this, understand 3D printing here. 3D printing is a process of making a physical object from a three-dimensional dig digital model, typically by laying down many successive thin layers of a material. Also, sometimes it is called 3D manufacturing, and in the next slide, we'll see what are the small difference between them, is a process by which a physical objects are created by depositing materials in layers based on the digital model. All 3D print printing processes require software, hardware, and materials to work together. Let's try to understand uh, through a video what is 3D printing here. 3D printing technology is already changing the way we produce objects, from tools and toys to clothing and even body parts. 3D printing is part of a process known as additive manufacturing, where an object is created by adding material layer by layer. Additive manufacturing allows designers to create complex parts for machines, airplanes, and cars at a fraction of the cost and time of standard means like forging, molding, and sculpting. Now, smaller, consumer-friendly 3D printers are bringing additive manufacturing to homes and businesses. The first step in 3D printing is to create a blueprint of the object you want to print. You can use modeling software like Blender to create your own designs, or you can visit websites like Thingiverse or Shapeways to find objects other users have 3D modeled. Once you have a finished design, it's time to send it to the printer. Some printers, like the MakerBot Replicator 2, have renewable bioplastic spooled in the back of the device, almost like a string. When the printer receives the data, it pulls the material through a tube, melts it, and deposits it to the plate where it instantly cools. As you can see, the 3D object is created through layering, where the printer will add one layer of the object at a time until you have a fully formed structure. The most common material used in 3D printing is plastic. But the use of some other materials allow for the creation of some pretty amazing products beyond simple tools and toys. 3D printing food is becoming very popular, and additive manufacturing has allowed for the creation of some pretty intricate treats. In the medical world, doctors are testing biomaterials for regenerative medicine. By using a patient's cells, doctors could 3D print small body parts like ears and noses. 
Some surgeons have even tested 3D printed organs for transplants. Recently, giant 3D printers in China printed 10 houses in just one day and at a cost of less than $5,000 per house, proving just how cost and time efficient 3D printing can be. So a small difference between additive manufacturing and 3D printing is as follows. Uh, and it depends on the industrial versus consumer focus. While the consumers typically focus on the singular uh, versus mass production of 3D printed object, businesses increasingly use additive manufacturing for the large scale production for end use products, objects. So additive manufacturing is primarily used for large scale production while 3D is used for a smaller uh, customized need for the uh, of the consumers. When we look at additive manufacturing, we add, we add layers to it. But when we look at the subtractive manufacturing, we are basically removing an object from the material. So when we look at subtractive manufacturing, how it looks is as if uh, what does it do, do is it removes the material from an object. It requires a manual removal of CNC machining. Computer control uses computers to aid machine resources as drilling. End result can be machined, smooth, or stepped up. It is idle for bigger parts because when you're removing it, it's a relatively faster process, not idle for parts that require certain intricacies and details. A CNC programmer needs to set the machine code is no longer needed with new automated software. It comes along with that, but it is a more expensive process of subtracting a material from a part. So what are the applications of 3D printing? It is used extensively as you've seen in a video. It is, manuf it is manufacturing of dyes. It is manufacturing of houses here. It also helps in education. It, it helps better prepare students for the future by allowing students to create a prototypes without the need of expensive tooling. Because when you are doing experiments, you need certain tools and the tool costs are very high. So you can create uh, quickly uh, certain tools for your work project work. Prototyping manufacturing, 3D printing technologies have been created, what is called agile tooling, uh, very flexible, especially in the manufacturing where you need a lot of dyes here. In medicine, it is used as a bioprinting. In construction, in construction, it is used for fabricating buildings or construction components here. Art and jewelry finds a lot of use of 3D printing where you have a lot of the designer jewelry being, uh, being manufactured as compared to the traditional jewelry. So we come to the end of this uh, video on uh, one of the important pillars of uh, uh, Industry 4 uh, that is additive manufacturing and a part of it is called 3D printing.